Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey, thank you so much for stopping by. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing the next installment in my Harry Potter BYOP series. So if you wanna see the palette and swatches and how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Before we do that though, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me. I do a lot of panning content, a lot of, you know, I've been doing these monthly BYOPs, I just do make general makeup enthusiast content, so stick around if you wanna see more. All right, so this is the cover I'm working with for today's palette. It's a lot of greens and kind of orangey red neutrals with a pop of purple on the spine. So I love this cover because it's very cohesive. It makes sense to me. I said like a million times, like I said it like four different times in the last video. I was watching it back and I said like four different times about how much I struggled with the palette. I was like, oh my god, you're so annoying. <laughs> But um, I love this one because it is so cohesive and it was really easy for me to pull together a color story. So keeping in mind the varying greens and the, and the red and orangey tones with the pop of purple, this is the palette I created. So this is what we've got. Um, it's mostly the greens and the orangey neutral tones with a pop of purple, so just one single shadow. Um, but yeah, I think you can clearly see my inspiration, you know, the greens from the cover and the neutrals. I think you can get a good idea of where they, they came from, so I'm not going to go through it one by one. Um, I'll like just mention some call-outs. So the shade Centaurus from Davina that was to uh, coincide with the foiling of the title on the or the Harry Potter foiling. The purple of course was to do a pop of purple um, and then I thought Hot Spice Cider from Terra Moons would be really good because it's like a brown to green duochrome so I thought it would go great with this palette and the color story. And then you know I have the reds and the orange and the yellow. I have Corrosion from Cleona. I will go through each shade one by one but yeah, I really like the shades that I put together. It's kind of neutral, but it's got pops of color in it. Um, I mean, oranges are kind of neutral to me, but the greens would be what I would consider a pop of color, as well as the purple and the red. Um, but I, I love how this color story came out, and um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And um, I wanted to do an inner corner shade, but I just didn't have the space for the mattes and the shimmers I wanted to include. So... Um, yeah, if I did include a, an inner corner shade, it was going to be Solar Flare from Terra Moons. But yeah, so first we're going to hop into the swatches and then we're going to hop into how I created this look. So yeah, if you want to see that, then stick around for the upcoming footage. All right, so let's get into the swatches. So once again, this is the palette. Um, I love how it came out. So I'm just going to get into the swatches. So first up we have the shade Granny Smith from Sydney Grace. This was from their Danny's Dream Bundle. I don't think it's available anymore, but the, sh the single shadow might still be available. Regardless, this is kind of just like, it's actually not swatching really well. Um, this is just kind of like a springy green, so really pretty. Next up we have the shade Bergamot, which is from the Glam Shop lemon palette the yellow one um so I depotted that palette but this is kind of like a yellowy orange so again kind of a common color that you could easily find in your collection I'm sure so that is a bergamot next up we have the shade Centaurus from Divina this is one of their galaxy dust shifters it's a really pretty kind of bronze shade it is so pretty and sparkly. That is Centaurus. I think this I put this in one of the earlier palettes um, that I've put together, but this is Majesty from Cleona. This is one of their Vibrant Multichromes, I believe. I can't quite remember. I think it's a Vibrant Multichrome. Um, but it's just kind of like an orange with like a kind of bluish green flip to it. Kind of like a mac and cheese kind of color but it's really pretty. I think it'll go great with those mattes. Next up we have the shade Hot Spice Cider from Terra Moons. This is a really pretty duochrome. This is not from their Chameleon line, so it is um, a little bit more affordable um, than like their like $17 multi-chromes. Um, so that's what it looks like on my finger. It's just kind of one of those brown green 
you can't really see the green flip to it but it's a really pretty shadow um and i think it'll go really good with this palette next up we have another sydney gray shade this is the shade kiwi fruit it's just a dark matte green really smooth to the touch i don't know why the sydney gray shadows are swatching really badly but they are um but they go on beautifully on the eye so i don't know why that's going on <laughs> next up we have the shade seed money from ColourPop. this is from the main squeeze palette i just don't have a lot of reds so um i always have to dig into that palette when i need a red so that is the shade seed money and for the pop of purple we have if i can lift it up we have the shade starfire from davina again a galaxy dust shifter and that is the shade starfire next up we have the shade corrosion from cleona this is a glitter multi-chrome very flaky it's so pretty so there is corrosion it's kind of well that looks darker on camera never mind so that is the shade Corrosion. I am doing terrible swatches. Then I have a single shadow from ColourPop. This is in the shade Trooper. It's kind of like a light mustard yellow. So that is the shade Trooper. I will take some footage and better lighting. Uh, this is just what I'm dealing with right now. Um, next up we have the shade Red Bottoms from uh, the Main Squeeze palette as well. It's kind of like a burgundy color that is the shade red bottoms and then i depotted a shade from my menagerie killer pur palette and this is the shade pride it's just kind of like a medium brown and that is the shade pride so right about now is when i'm going to insert the footage in just better natural lighting and then we'll get into the eye look so let's get into this eye look but before we do that let me go just go over what's on my base so first up i have my little foundation concoction that i that that's my go-to and that is the wonder beauty catch the light highlighter and lotion and i mix it in with my milani conceal and perfect foundation which i am so close to finishing it's so exciting and then um for bronzer i just did a little bit i depotted my milk makeup uh, mini cream bronzer. This is how much I had left. I had no idea I had this much left. Oops. Focus. So I just did a little bit of that. I don't know if I'm going to keep this to be honest. Like this is not something I feel like I'm going to reach for, but I felt like let's go with the cream base today. So I did reach for that. My blush is I have this little like blister pack from Tower 28 of their, their highlight and then three of their blushes and I'm just using bobby pins to keep it closed. But I went into the shade Golden Hour and used that as blush. And then for highlight, I first went in with the Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlight in the shade Nova. And then just over that, I did a little bit of the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Powder in the shade Mercury, which is just a pale gold. And then I just did a light dusting of my CoverGirl Clean Professional Powder. So, this, as I've already shown you, is the palette, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking going for, like, a more neutral look, um, maybe with a pop of green on the lower lash line. I know I want to use Corrosion from, uh, Cleona, so I think I'm gonna, so I think I'm gonna go on with this matte first, and then this shade Bergamot, and then the shade Pride from Menagerie, and then I'm gonna put Corrosion all over the lid, and then maybe like this green as a pop on the lower lash line. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with that Trooper shade, which is the lighter matte, and we're gonna start out and build out the look. So, I, oh, by the way, I already primed with my Sigma Eye Primer base, so. How are you guys doing? I feel like I've been not posting as consistently as I want to. Like I try to do, you know, about three videos a week, and I've been doing one to two, and they've all kind of been in a rush. I've just been, kind of busy with Scooter's dog training and then he's had like the groomer one weekend and he's had the vet on one weekend and then we had to, my dad's an accountant so we had to sign for our taxes so had to do a little socially distant outdoor gathering <laughs> to sign those and then oh one weekend I got my vaccine, my first vaccine and I just like the day, I got it on a Friday evening and the next day I just like my arm was so sore and I was so tired and just like not in a good mood it was like not good to film so I've just been so busy for example today after I film this I have to film my partners in cream and edit and upload it to go up today because I have not had time to film it 
so <laughs> that's been you know I, I wish I could dedicate more time I've just been really busy and just dealing with my mental health I don't really want to go into it too much but I'm just trying to improve on that a little bit because it's not really in the best place um so yeah so that is the shade trooper blended out I like the shape of it it's good we're gonna go in now with the same brush this is a Sigma E25 brush uh, into the shade bergamot and just kind of deepen it up and place it a little bit lower than the initial shade but um, Scooter's dog training is going really really well I've noticed such huge differences in his walking and we've barely even practiced you know we haven't really you know we have a few more classes left um, we've barely even um, you know done the part where we are working on actual walking and so it's just been such a big change in him and I'm so proud of him he's a beagle so he's always gonna not be the best walker but it's just the differences have been so good and he's changed our walks because he still will howl at dogs but he's just a much better walker and it's so good <sighs> If you have a dog that has trouble walking well, you know the struggle. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's it's been really great. Next, I am pretty happy with how this looks, so I'm just going to deepen the outer V with the shade Pride from Menagerie. And I have to be really careful because I already did my base, and these are very pigmented fallout, fallouty shadows. So, but yeah, I don't really have too many life updates, just... Just the huge, I don't know. <laughs> See, there's already fallout, so I'll have to dust that away. I'm going in with a Sigma E45 tapered blending, right? Tapered blending? Yeah, small tapered blending. Look at me doing a neutral look. I'm just gonna go between that brush and the one I used before just to kind of make sure that the colors I first put down still show up kind of YouTube content have you guys been watching lately? I have been, um, well I've kind of, I've been behind on video, so if I like comment on like an older video of yours, it's because I'm just behind on watching videos. Um, and like I'll watch videos, but like I might not have the time to like comment on it, so certain people, like I try to always comment on their videos. Um, and so like I'll save them for when I know I have time to comment on it, but I've just not had the time lately so I have like people who I have to like catch up on like a bunch of videos so oops so I'm just a little bit behind but like I'll watch content where like I know I won't comment like I love watching psychology in Seattle's videos so he's a he has a podcast but he's a family and couples psychologist therapist and he will react to like he will react to, like, mostly 90 Day Fiancé, but other, like, TLC family shows and, like, not, like, diagnose them or anything, but talk about what could be happening or using it as, like, a jumping off point. And it's been, like, really interesting. I've been watching his videos for a while now, and I just find them really interesting. I don't always agree, necessarily, with his interpretation, specifically, um, the way he's been doing the Welcome to Plathville show, and, um... I don't think he's being really hard enough on like the parents for like their toxicity <laughs> and how they're treating their children but that's just my opinion <laughs> I'd love to know what like non beauty content you guys watch um, cuz beauty content takes up the majority of what I watch but I do like to watch some random other things oh me and my boyfriend love watching cash Jordan he is um, he's like a real not a real estate like an apartment agent or something in New York City and he does like apartment tours around the city like just like mostly like apartments that I could never dream of affording but it's just like really fun to watch um although Cash Jordan I feel like you're doing <laughs> I feel like you're doing sponsored videos without disclosing that they're an ad every time it happens I'm like JV he's doing an undisclosed ad it's so irritating <laughs> um but yeah, I've been enjoying that. We've been enjoying those videos. Like, we'll watch them, like, during dinner. 
Um, okay, so that's the mat. Okay, I zoomed in just a little bit more. So now we're gonna do corrosion on the lid. So I'm gonna do a gl liquid, not liquid glitter, what am I talking about? Glitter primer, the NYX one. Um, just what I have and what I use and what pretty much everyone uses, right? Um, let me find a brush. I don't like using my good shimmer brushes for applying this just because I don't want to ruin them. <laughs> I have like certain brushes I use for like the glitter glue application, which um, are basically everything that's not my Sigma F70 brush. Um, so I'm gonna apply the glitter and then we'll come back. And now we're going to apply corrosion. Just gonna pick it up on a Sigma F70 brush and then press it into the glitter glue because this is kind of like a flaky formula, but I don't like using my fingers. So we're just gonna like kind of stamp it on and I find that to be the best application if you don't want to use your fingers. So this is the eye look. I love how it came out. I think it looks really pretty and sparkly. I do want to finish it off with eyeliner, but first we're going to do the lower lash line. So I'm just going to go into this shade, this lighter green, and I'm going to put it along the lower lash line just to give some color down there and like a pop, a pop of color is what I'm trying to say. Oh my god, it's so hot in my apartment. <laughs> I need to open the windows or like turn on the air. My apartment is like kind of weird like depending on the weather outside you can either like it'll be like either heat or cool so depending on how it feels out there even if it's like really hot in here it'll kind of depend so we might just have to put the fans on and turn on the or open the windows which I don't mind I would prefer that actually but like my apartment gets so hot it's so hard sometimes um then kind of on the inner, or like the middle of my lower lash line, I'm gonna go into Hot Spice Cider from Terra Moons and just add a little bit of sparkle. On the waterline, I'm going to use my Marigold Eyeliner from ColourPop. This is from the Raw Beauty Christie collaboration. And you can kind of see, maybe, it's like very like narrow in the middle, like from me only using this on my waterline, but. And then I'm gonna just use this little pencil brush from Eco Tools and use this highlight that I have on my face, the Mercury highlight from Lunar Beauty, and I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. I was going to use a Tara Moon single shadow in this palette, but I wanted to include that brown matte. I felt like the palette needed it, so I took it out and decided we'll just we'll just go for the highlight. Okay. So this is the eye look. I'm going to jump off camera. I'm going to apply my eyeliner and mascara, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I have finished the look. So I'll tell you what I finished it off with. I used my Stila um, Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Dark Brown. I thought brown would go good with this look. And then I have my ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. This used to be one of my favorites. I bought this when it was on sale at Ulta, like... I've had this for like months and I haven't opened it like a really long time and I think it was like kind of old when they had it on sale because it's really dry and I don't remember it being like this so I don't know how long this will be open because I just opened it but yeah so I have that on my lashes and then for lips I had this on at the start of the video but I don't think I mentioned it it's the third eye uh bullet lipstick from Colourpop and then I just topped a little bit of fussy from Fenty over it to give a little bit of a glossy look and with that being said I think that is the end of the look yes my necklace by the way is my name <laughs> uh, my grandpa had this made for me because when I was little I could never get one of those like touristy things that like had your name on it because my name's Delaney or Laney and uh, not a very common name so he had this made for me and it's not really obviously like my style anymore like to wear a necklace with my name on it but I was just missing him today so I thought I would wear it and then my earrings are from the Etsy shop Sun Sprinkles they're just little lemons and I thought they were really cute okay <laughs> so this is the eye look and just the look in general I'm loving how it came out um I really like this palette I think I'm going to use it quite a bit 
it's really cute and it's kind of fall like but um i really like it i like how this one came out so yeah that is all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe leave a comment if you like down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye and then i have a single shadow from ColourPop. i look but <laughs> so let's get oh no <laughs> Oh, I just dug my nail into pride. Be right back. I have two. And then on the uh, waterline, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, on the... Uh, my eyes are watering. I, as you can tell by the title of... T as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be... As you can tell by the title of... 